Good evening. This side, Rahul Magan here, as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a Venture Capitalist. As we speak, Treasury Consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out Singapore. And we are a multinational hedge fund, which means we do take positions in multiple asset classes, which includes US equities, US indices, European equities, Asian equities, currencies and commodities. But like I repeated many times that we are a prop desk. By prop desk, I mean we do not take third party capital. I repeat, we do not take outside capital. So whatever positions which we are taking, this is backed up by our own capital. From the last several years, I am consistently saying that United States economy is losing. Because as we speak, United States is standing at a national debt, which is also known as sovereign debt of near about 32 trillion US dollars. And this sovereign debt is rising. The day is not far when this debt would boom. Sri Lanka, Nepal, and many countries of the globe are facing this. US would not be an exception. If you are thinking that US dollar as a reserve currency status would protect US, then remember US share of FX reserve which used to be near about 76% is now near about 60%. In this war which is happening, we all knew that Russia is the largest natural gas producers of the globe. According to the public statistics, Russia holds several trillion cubic feet of the natural gas resources. And around 40% of the European gas supply is done by Russia. Of course, Russia invaded Ukraine. And from the very first day, I'm against that. But financially speaking, Western economy put lot of sanctions on Russia. Now what happened? Nothing. As per the public information, more than 10 European nations, I repeat, more than 10 European nations agreed to buy the gas from Russia. Now, if they agreed to buy the gas from Russia, it effectively means that the sanctions which has been imposed by the Western world on Russia is now good for nothing. Because if they would be buying from Russia, they would be buying in Russian rubles. And if they would be buying in Russian rubles, then go to hell US dollars from Putin angle. Now this is a clear cut strategy from Putin that he would like to relieve from US dollars, which by the way he did. His FX reserves is just 9% of US dollars and majority in gold, Euro and Chinese yuan. I know that the compromised media, I don't name any channel, but the compromised Indian, the international media never trying to reveal these facts, but you cannot hide everything. Soon you will see dollar demise. Soon you see dollar demise. This is Rahul Bagan from Treasury Consulting.